Hi, I'm Kat. I've never watched The Mummy, so let's watch it. I mentioned this to my friends and they were like aghast that I had never seen The Mummy, but just for some reason never have. I have been on the ride at Universal Studios though, which was so good. It's such a fun ride and like there's this one moment where they make it feel like there's bugs near your feet, which was scary. The ending is the only thing that I don't like about the ride. It just kind of, it does all this thing that it builds up and it builds up and then it just, it stops. But anyway, I hope the movie is better than that. I think I am going to enjoy it because all of my friends enjoy it and I love Brendan Fraser. I do quite like Rachel Weisz as well. I think I've only ever seen her in like Black Widow though. And then Oded Fur is in it. And every time I see that man, I think about Zanku and Charmed. Now you go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. I'm not going anywhere. The only thing I'm worried about when watching this is that because so many people love it, like, I want to love it as well. And yeah, Netflix does say it's a 95% match for me. I made myself some popcorn. It is um, like vanilla cupcake flavor or something. Um, I just made it and I haven't tried it. So let's find out what that tastes like. Interesting. Still a bit salty. I don't think it tastes like a vanilla cupcake, but nice. And last thing before I press play, my camera battery absolutely sucks. As far as I can tell, it'll go about 40 minutes before it'll die. So it's going to take me most of the rest of the day to watch this movie. Oh, and I also have a cup of tea because that's the type of person I am. Let's go. What was that? The Sphinx. But like, before, you know, lost its nose and stuff. So we're looking. We're in ancient Egypt. Okay, this popcorn actually is really good. No when she looks was allowed to touch her. Damn good, dressed like that. But I hope she was confident in wearing that. Who was he talking to? Was he just talking to like the golden guard guys? Asking my dad. Cut. Is this where Sarah J. Moss got her idea for the body paint in Akatar? Okay, yeah, just keep going. Take some turns. Yeah, good girl. Ooh. Okay, so I'm on her side for taking ownership of her body and choosing her own lover. Um, so I'm on the Egyptian side right now. I don't know if there's sides we need to pick. But you know, I get it. Um, not so sure about the whole necromancy thing because necromancy never goes well. It's going to be able to resurrect her when she doesn't have her organs. They just want to be happy and together. So horrible that had never before been bestowed. Oh, I thank you. I'm glad we didn't have to see that. You just said all his priests were homicide alive as well. I don't like bugs. That's a cool way to show the passing of time. Is the horse okay? just fell down. Is the horse okay? Sandcracker? Okay. What? Okay, so we have the mummy side, and then we have the magi side, led by Oded Fur, who were the who were the people who were entombed the mummy. And then we have Brendan Fraser's side. <laughs> Grab back onto the shelves. Oh, oh, the books. All of them? Fly! <laughs> Just pick them up. You are a catastrophe. Look at my library. 
Fairy tales and Pokemon. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Why did you cover my profile? For the best, I'm sure. Oh, I don't like Mary that. Mary Mary Why'd they cut off his hair? He has long hair. Yes, exactly. Spreading the good word and all that. But this we could have had him had long movie. hair the entire movie. Yeah, well, because she's not a total loss. Thank you. Um, oh, no, excuse me. Um, we both found your your puzzle box. And we... Yeah, I was there. You swear. Oh, my God. Day. No, I didn't mean that. I know what you meant. I was there. Seti's place. City of the dead. I love you. Could you tell me how to get there? I love them and I ship it already and I want him to keep his long hair so much but I know he's not going to but kissing a woman without her permission not cool man we'll come back later when she's consenting to a kiss to be hanged apparently to be hanged. he had a very good time as well as I'm a very lonely man <laughs> I mean, like, he's obviously going to be fine. Oh. Okay, well, she likes the short hair. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. She was breathing. Oh, if you call that a kiss. Ooh. Why did you kiss me? <laughs> no, I was about to be hanged. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh. oh. What? What did I say? Point. But she also has a point. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Benny. <laughs> I hope we can swim. Sixty-five. Oh, for heaven's sake, girl! It wasn't that good of a kiss, anyway. into this movie is that it takes place in Egypt and that I knew I was gonna ship those two. I wonder if they actually filmed that in the desert because it looks very windy. Just thinking about all the sand. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. She still managed to put her head on his shoulder even though she's on a different camel. See, this thing is, Oded Fur is the one with long hair here. If you've been around long enough, you know how I feel about men with long hair. Good morning, my friend. If you're new, you'll get it soon enough. So they all showed up at the same time anyway, even though they're on opposite sides of the river. Can you believe? Oh, must it be the, the flap when you're like on those camels and they're like that. Are they gonna be cut off from the rest of them because they got there first? They're led by a woman. What does a woman know? That's the statue. We're almost at our first break because my battery light is flashing at me. It is a god of stench. They're being really old. Uh, and they mummified people. She just puts her hand in the spider webs. No fear. 
That sound plays in the ride on in Universal. No one likes bugs. Give me bugs. I hate bugs. Mood. <laughs> Mama Mia. He's the in Mama Mia. Here we go again. Is he the the guy in the booth for the ferry? It's been bugging me. Stop stealing. I mean, like they're all stealing, but nothing can come from it. You're, you're stealing Let's things like that. Yep. Yeah. He's the guy at the, the booth. Don't put me down for my vacation. Likewise. <laughs> okay. They're about to let the mummy out. Oh no. Oh, and it it went into his shoe. Oh my god, no, it's in him. camera battery charging break and now I'm back the last thing I saw was Rick said stay here and like the A plus protagonist she is Evelyn did not stay it's a horse in the game oh, these horses are going through it Teaching her how to fight. <laughs> I love things like that. Oh, but she's drunk. What is a place like me doing in a girl like this? I am a librarian. Yes. <laughs> and assimilate their organs and fluids. And in so doing, he will regenerate and no longer be the undead. Not only in this life, but in the next. Yeah, I'm all serious. I'm loving the banter so much, even though, like, it's usually just Rick throwing it back at Evelyn. But they have such the dynamic that my, f like, some of my favorite book couples have. <laughs> Yeah. Still why do you see? Yes. He, he must be more than three thousand years old and uh, well it looks as if he's still why decomposing. Isn't he wrapped? Yeah. Look at that. Did he unwrap himself? What do you make of this? Oh, God, oh he must have to me. scratch it. Fingernails. Oh god, I can this man was buried alive. feel that. See they they've currently found like right now they have found a new tomb in Egypt that very likely might be Cleopatra's and they're like going in and they're gonna go and open stuff. Have we learnt nothing? There's your treasure, gentlemen. Why is one of them broken? You're in her seat. <laughs> now, yep. Scour of skeletons. You're in her seat. That just hits. Like, now this is her place. The camera did that really annoying thing where it has a memory card error but basically Evelyn took the book from one of the Americans and Rick said that's called stealing you know and then I said so what's what you're doing in the tombs called? No harm ever came from reading a book. Book's the most dangerous weapon of the world. Why would you, you read the things out loud? <laughs> That 
Brendan Fraser, that look. Oh, what's wrong with him? Oh, okay, yeah, I see what they mean. Fine. Assimilate the organs. So he thinks she's the princess? That was some very Scooby Doo music just then. So, what's he gonna take from him? Where'd the cat come from? Then, why were you trying to pack us? Leave. Are we about to get blood rain? A little more intense. I mean, he was efficient at stealing everything, at least. We are in serious trouble. We? <laughs> so you just need a cat around? Ooh, an eclipse. Right. She stays here. You three come with me. Not me. No, no, I don't I don't like Nestor and Cassian vibes. Is there a window for her to jump out of? Oh yeah, it's not looking good for him. Damn. We're not gonna do a jump scare again, are we? Oh. That was the cool shot though. Okay, can we just put his cheek back together again? It's making me uncomfortable. Oh, wonders bug. I don't like like the whole. No. No. Hey, get your ugly face off her. Look at I got. Brendan's facial expressions and his delivery. Is it according to legend? It's my favorite play. Boils and swords. Yeah, the time is. Speaks in space already. He don't look his head. Again, Scooby Doo. When Fred and Velma pretend to be one of the people who are. Brainwashed and have their souls taken away. Demons. Uh, how much inspiration did the Scooby Doo movie take from this? Maybe Doc could be as well. She really just goes for the eyes. She's like effective. So I get why we needed the second group of Americans now because. People needed to die for him to get his form back and they weren't gonna do that to the main cast. If he turns me into a mummy, you're the first one I'm coming after. <laughs> yes, love that. Convenient escape. Oh, I'll make you you're making it. Okay, I forgive him for his comments and burning of the map at the beginning. Droats on the Air Force property? It doesn't seem safe. Do I bloody look alright? <laughs> oh, he's having a grand old time. I don't think shooting the sand's gonna do anything. <laughs> Everyone all good? Hey, Winston! 
Did he get his wish? Thank you for your service in the five minutes of the movie you were in. You know, nasty little fellows such as yourself always get their comeuppance. <laughs> Karma is a god. Yes. Stop taking the things off the wall! <laughs> Throw it away. Nope. Ah! Not again! Damn. Yeah, not a good situation to be in. And then that. Yeah, see, the camel knows better than you. Okay, if the battery doesn't last these last 20 minutes, then I, well, I already know something's super wrong with my camera. But we're almost there. So, basically. Evelyn has been kidnapped and she's tied to a table and she's about to be rescued and hopefully help rescue herself. Oh, so she's going into her original body. Oh, does she have to do the same thing where she just takes the organs? Put his arm back on. Evie. Obviously. Wait, no, did he grow in you? Yeah. No. Busy. No, okay. He was just holding his arm really weirdly. He put his arm back on. Oh, that's worse than when he's in the mummy form. Are you literally just cold death? Did it just make him mortal? He's mortal. Still around. Leave the book. Leave the book. It's safer there. I feel like he's gonna be stuck in there. But now you have what you wanted, which was riches. Oh no. Is it the bugs are back? It's a lot of cardio. Now did we learn our lesson about touching things that shouldn't be touched? enjoyed that which is good because all my friends like it and I love the cast everyone was so good the the humor mixed with the action so good but clearly real life people have not learned our lesson on not touching things that should be better left alone <laughs> and they clearly didn't learn their lesson either because there's two more of these movies but like yes Rick and Evelyn have a, like the fantastic dynamic that I love in a ship. And I love Brendan Fraser, and I think this is only the second thing I've seen Rachel in, but I've loved both of the things she's been in. I very much expected there to be like a, a good guy and a bad guy, and there wasn't really, because like, the mummy totally understood his motivations, just wanted to be with his love. And he was, you know, unfairly tuned alive. So, of course, he was going to be like, um, I think I deserve some revenge. And then the Magi people, the ones way back in ancient Egypt, those are probably the bad guys for, you know, entombing people alive. But the current day ones, they're just you know, acting on what they believe, which is some really bad things would happen if the mummy 
was let out, which, you know, bad things did happen. So I get them as well in like Oded Fur, which I surprisingly did not think about Zanku a lot when I saw him on screen. Or like at all. And then we have our main cast. The Americans. Probably some bad guys. They were just in it for money. But Evelyn and Rick. I actually don't really know Rick's motivations to begin with. It's, it's treasure, isn't it? It's of money. But then they're like, you learnt better. Because Evelyn was in it for like learning and education and discovering things. And I didn't know that her character was half Egyptian. Is her brother half Egyptian as well? But yeah, that was a good movie. And I love that like Brendan Fraser is back because I've always loved him. Grew up obsessed with George of the Jungle. Oh, my camera battery is dying as well. So in the comments, let me know what you think of The Mummy. And if there's like anything like important in there that I like didn't even think about or just missed that I should have picked up on. Because I'm sure there's like a lot going on in the movie that I didn't even notice. And then also, what should I watch next? There's actually a lot of like big famous movies that I have never seen. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and check out some of my other videos. <laughs>